Did you know that John Hayes Hammond Jr. most often went by the name Jack? While the inventor himself was famous, so was his father, John Hayes Hammond Sr. He went by Jack in order to distinguish him from dear old dad. We'll learn more about Hammond Sr. in a future edition of the Hammond Weekly, but this week's video is about his son. If you've watched previous episodes, you know a bit about Hammond the inventor, but what about Hammond the man? Obviously, he was a medieval enthusiast, a passion which stemmed from the age of about 10 years old when he moved to England with his family and fell in love with castles. As a boy, Jack had a privileged upbringing thanks to his wealthy family. He showed an early interest in inventing, dismantling a fine clock that was given to him by his father in an effort to understand its workings and reassemble it. The boy's scientific interests were encouraged, and he even toured Thomas Edison's laboratory at the age of 12 and formed a relationship with a famous inventor that lasted decades. Attending the prestigious Sheffield School of Science at Yale University from 1906 to 1910, Jack suffered from various bouts of poor health and distractions from his studies, but nonetheless refined his keen intellect and began his successful career in radio technology towards the end of his degree program. After taking and repaying a loan from his father, Hammond founded his own company, the Hammond Radio Research Laboratory, and the wealth generated through his sale of patents to, among others, RCA, Hammond was able to maintain the comfortable upper-class lifestyle that enabled him to build his castle home. As a young man and beyond, Jack had a storied social life and entertained many famous friends. He and his three closest friends formed an informal social group known as BASH, an acronym derived from their last names, B for Leslie Buswell, A for A. Pyatt Andrew, S for Henry Davis Sleeper, and H for Jack Hammond. We'll learn more about them in future episodes. Hammond was an avid sailor and owned several vessels in his life, including the Natalia, his radio-controlled boat, the Ripple, his motor yacht, and multiple sailboats that bore the name Odysseus. His boats competed in various races, and he retraced some of the voyages of Christopher Columbus personally. Hammond married Irene Fenton in Italy in 1925. This was kept a secret initially, as his family didn't approve of the union, owing to Irene's age, 45 at the time, making bearing children unlikely. Indeed, Jack never did become a father of anything other than radio control. Still, Jack did love animals. He kept numerous dogs, cats, and birds throughout his life, which freely roamed the castle's halls and grounds. One of the most well-known aspects of Hammond's personality is his sense of humor and penchant for practical jokes. He was quick to laugh and quick to tell tall tales in an effort to fool newcomers to the castle. For example, he used to claim there was a door in the back of a 15th century French fireplace in the Great Hall that led to secret tunnels under the hill outside the castle that they'd be able to escape through in case of an attack by a roving band of unruly knights in Gloucester in the 20th century. As unlikely as that was, the story did sound exciting and dramatic, almost like something out of a movie, but it was about as real. There is no secret network of tunnels behind the fireplace, and the door is in fact a cast iron fireback meant to keep the room warm. But Hammond, well aware of the stories people told of his eccentricities, figured that his guests would believe him. They often did. Ultimately, Jack Hammond was a complex man of many talents and interests, and never let his high status separate him from the rest of his community. Indeed, he opened his doors to the public on occasion to allow them to view his collection of artifacts. Today, Hammond Castle Museum carries on in that spirit. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there is a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.